What is up, Humanoid Nation? So, we got a top 10 video now for, for Grand Theft Auto 5. God damn, I just finished playing that game. I still haven't finished every single thing, but the main mission I already finished. This time I actually went back and replayed it, so I didn't have to kill either one, Trevor or Michael. That way all three of them are playable, because like I fucked up the first time, because I killed off Trevor for the f first one, and then I couldn't have Trevor again. So yeah, now I have all three characters that I can play as, and that's fun as fuck. Trevor Phillips, man, he's insane. Anyways, Grand Theft Auto 5, 10 weird facts. Let's do this, hopefully I can learn some shit. My name is Nickel, oh Nickel. Oh These Nickel. Are 10 weird facts about Grand Theft Auto. If you haven't checked out the other videos on this channel, make sure to check out Weird Facts, Call of Duty, The Witcher, and Fallout. I still haven't played either of those games. The video was uploaded well, to Call of Duty I have. It's kind of weird. ...by ISIS, the Salafi Jihadi extremist militant group. The purpose of this video was to use edited Grand Theft Auto 5 footage as propaganda to recruit younger people into their army. My pronunciation really? will be off, but the video ISIS is recruiting, Grand Theft Auto what else is Salil Al-Sawaran, which can roughly be translated in Arabic as the sounds of swords coming together. The video opens with this message written on screen. Your games which are producing from you, we do the same actions in the battlefields. And it contains the ISIS logo. I think they spelled battle the wrong. Then see an image of a man. I'm not sure a though. Fighter wearing Isn't it B A T T L E? Black shirt and camouflage. Gotta look this up later. Fighter later. An assault rifle. Later in the video, you hear fighters shouting Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar! God is greater or God is the greatest. As they attack police officers and the military base in Los Santos with AK-47 rifles. According to a Forbes article, ISIS was using this video to raise the morale of the Muhadins and to train children and the youth how to battle... How young were these kids? Like terror, 10 years old? 6? 7? I wouldn't be surprised if they're really, really young. ISIS is just using GTA because ISIS is a fucking crazy group. Or if ISIS has actually developed a modded version of the game and are using it as a training tool. Ah. When Rockstar released the Beach Bum update for Grand Theft Auto V, a pretty severe bug was introduced for some in Japan. The Beach Bum oh, update in Japan. was supposed to include new vehicles, weapons, and quite a bit more. But it hey, it's a juggalo. This. Yep. The characters of some players from Japan suddenly had an appearance swap where younger characters became old, white characters became black, and men became women. What? All these changes also happen in reverse. And of course, That's a fucked up shit. this happens, people took to Twitter to post images of what happened to their characters. Here are some that were posted when men became women, and here are some when women became men. This bug, of course, <laughs> has since been resolved. Towards the end of GTA San Andreas, a corrupt police officer named Frank... Ah, uh, spoilers! Put no, never mind. I'm currently City playing this. Event. This was a reflection of the real-life events that took place in Los Angeles in the early 90s. Several LAPD officers were videotaped brutally beating a man named Rodney King after King had engaged in a Rodney got chase. fucked up. Due to the court's inability to draw a verdict, the officers were acquitted, causing public outrage and race riots. Yeah, the LA riots. That was a big-ass thing going on. Injured, and an astonishing 8,000 plus people were arrested. The riots only ended after the military was called in. And nearly 4,000 Los Angeles buildings were burned with over $1 billion in property damage. In San Andreas, the Los Santos riots ensue for a similar purpose, starting with the corrupt police officer Frank Tenpenny being acquitted it's because... The guy played by Samuel L. Jackson, right? The LA riots in the game? took place in 1992. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Sam Jackson. San Andreas is set in. The GTA franchise has been hit with over one billion dollars worth of lawsuits. God, back in 2010, oh, Cypress Hill backup singer Michael Shag Washington claims that Rockstar ripped off his likeness and details from his life in order to create the main character of GTA San Andreas, Carl C.J. Johnson. Washington filed a lawsuit of two hundred fifty million dollars, even though he what was credited I need as a model in the game. San Andreas, the lawsuit, man, and the I gotta step up my gaming thing. Plaintiff is relying entirely on C.J.'s physical appearance in the game. But that appearance is so generic that it necessarily. What about the one that looks like Easy E? Males. Nothing about him. Or is he, he coming up later? Rapper Dawes Dillinger suing for music copyright infringement. Mob Wife star Karen Gravano suing for using a storyline similar to her life story, at least a part of it. And Lindsay Lohan for using her likeness on promotional material. None of these lawsuits were successful. That looks ever. nothing like a low Lindsay Lohan. In June of 2003, driver and passenger Aaron Hamill and Kimberly Bead were shot by two boys named William and John. 
Josh Buckner. The boys had taken two rifles from their home, hid in the trees, and started firing at passing vehicles on a busy highway. In their defense, they told investigators that they got the idea to shoot cars from Grand Theft Auto 3. Jack Thompson, the lawyer Such retarded family, is. said, We are going to show that this game did influence these boys and caused them to go out and shoot at these people. Sam Hauser, the Always blaming games. Said, Can it just be that your kids are just that fucking stupid? Year, a teenager named Devin Moore. Because no normal person would do that shit. The police on like I play GTA 5 all the time. The gun, I like playing as Trevor Fullers. Am I going to go out there and do the fucking shit that Trevor Phillips does? No, I'm not that fucking crazy. He stole that police car, but then was quickly captured. The connection to I don't like to go in jail. I don't want to have my cellmate named Bubba who fucking rapes me every day. Escaping I ain't fit for jail, man. Officers and then escaping the I wouldn't survive, yo. Was caught, he reportedly said, Disabled like a video and Marfans and a fucked up foot. Yeah, I'm pretty much easy pickings. GTA 5 at the time of making this video is the fourth highest selling game of all time at 52 million copies. So, you can imagine how hectic the launch of a game like this must have been. Upon release, gamers waited in line around the world. Good thing I don't buy games right away. I don't even know about them. I wait like two, three years after calling in sick to I get in and play GTA 5. Some people took it a bit further than just calling in sick. Way further. Three men in Staten Island pose as police officers in order to cut in front of hundreds of people in line. Really? Stupid motherfuckers! Early. One of the three men was an auxiliary volunteer at the NYPD, and his father was also a retired NYPD officer. Therefore, he had access to some police equipment. On the night of GTA's launch, the three drove up to a mall in a former police vehicle, and then headed towards the mall's GameStop. They were, of course, mistaken for police, and the GameStop manager even thanked them for being there and providing good security. <laughs> He's unfucked up. They a badge to get inside the mall itself and claimed that they were with the NYPD. They then asked the GameStop manager if they could buy the game early. Once the manager saw their auxiliary badge, he did in fact sell the game to them. Afterwards, as they it home, worked, they passed a police officer in an unmarked car that followed them and then pulled them over. They were each charged and then it, they got caught. Second degree criminal impersonation, according to information from the district. Did they ever get to play the game? Like they no, the game they're in jail. Before they even had but they ever get to play the game? No, they're playing there was a butt fucking GTA game. GTA 5 players were fixated on solving the mystery of the so-called GTA ghost. The ghost was supposed to be in the mine shaft in Great Chaparral. I'm referring to the mine shaft that you can access during Michael's murder mystery mission. In this footage, you can Is hear mine the shaft? music come on, I and need to check this out. ghost catching fire from the Molotov and then running down the mine shaft before it disappears again. There was an ongoing debate on whether or not this was a real Easter egg that Rockstar put in, or just a somewhat elaborate hoax. Some argued that this was a product of abusing the invisible clothing glitches and selectively covering the character's entire body in invisibility, whereas others thought this might actually be the ghost of the body that you find in the mineshaft during the murder mystery. Since it's been by so many people, the general consensus now is that it's not actually real. But there is a real ghost in GTA 5 that appears the car ghost. in the El Gordo lighthouse near the park of Mount Gordo. And I need exactly to go there. At 11 o'clock at night, if you look at this location, oh, that. you can see her appear where she will remain until the clock strikes 12. If you get too close, though, she'll disappear. Right below where she is, the word jock is written in blood. This is a reference to John Jock Cranley, the politician who is running for governor against Sue Murray. The connection makes a bit more sense if you go to the Who Killed Leonora Johnson in-game website and click on the section that says, Another Vinewood Mystery. There's Another so much Rocks. stuff I don't know about this game. I didn't know we had that the shit in there. That John Jock Cranley and I just did the missions. Pauline were walking by the cliffs overlooking the El Gordo lighthouse when a dispute ended in Mrs. Cranley falling to her death. That's pretty spooky stuff. As we've seen, a lot of people have tried to blame GTA, and in many cases even tried suing them. But Rockstar's parent company, Take Two Interactive, has also had to strike back. In May of 2015, Rockstar filed a lawsuit against the BBC after the BBC announced their plans to create a movie related to the Grand Theft Auto series. The film would star Daniel Radcliffe and Bill Paxton. The lawsuit was based on... The Drake film will star Daniel Radcliffe. ...titled Game Changer. The feature really? film will focus on the real okay. connection between Rockstar President Sam Hauser and the infamous U.S. Attorney Jack Thompson, who tried to sue the franchise because he believed that it promoted violence and saw it as a cop-killing simulator. You might remember the name. Jack a lot Thompson, of games of cop-killing simulators. He was the in attorney the that was mentioned. Fucking game. The film was inspired by the that's supposed to take the fucking thing seriously. Book, book titled Jack. The Outlaw Story of Grand Theft Auto. The film is to be directed by Owen Harris, the director of Misfits and The Secret Diary of a Call Girl. 
Rockstar has stated, we have attempted multiple times to resolve this matter with Secret Diaries of a Call That's a weird it's show, man. To protect our Billy Piper, I never thought I'd see her in that kind of case, litigation show. Was necessary. When the BBC was asked by PCMag.com about this issue, a spokeswoman from the BBC only stated that we do not comment on legal matters. Filming is already underway, and it is expected to be released in early 2016. I'll watch it. I'll Maybe watch week, it. The protagonist of GTA 4 was voiced by an actor named Michael Holland. Despite the Eastern European accent you hear in the game, he's actually an American actor from New York. That's pretty good accent, man. I just started playing that game and I actually thought it was a real accent. After the game Damn. during a New York Times interview, he vented his frustration that he wasn't paid enough and he received zero royalties or residuals. He stated that the work that he did should have earned him more considering the amount of money that GTA 4 made, over $600 million within weeks of release. After this dispute, Rockstar and Hollick were not on good terms, and that's why in The Ballad of Gay Tony and in the Lost in the Dam DLC, Rockstar just reused his voice instead of recording any new lines. <laughs> Well played, Rockstar. MTV, well Rockstar's played. Rockstar's vice president of product development, Geronimo Barrera, was asked if Nico's voice actor was brought back to contribute new lines for the DLC. And he replied, hell no. Afterwards, <laughs> you know you don't like the guy when you have to say hell no. More than the $100,000 for his work. As many people know, Nico is based on a character named Sasha from the 2001 movie Behind Enemy Lines. You can even buy Sasha's outfit from Behind Enemy Lines in the game. Vladimir Moshkov, the Russian actor who played Sasha in the film, was actually approached by Rockstar first to do the voice work for the character. But Moshkov declined, and the role ultimately ended in the hands of Hollywood. Why did they decline? It would have been awesome. The relationship between Rockstar and the actor that played Nico, it didn't entirely write Nico out of the following game. Here are a few references to Nico Belik and his cousin Roman Belik in GTA 5. Within the private taxi fare missions, there's a mission titled Got Your Back that ends in a shootout. Once it's done, look at the license plates of the cars in the area that you're in, and you'll eventually see one that says Roman B and Nico B. On a laptop in Michael's house, you're able to see Nico's life in Vader page. One of Nico's uh, recent status updates says, Gotta check that out again. Right before the Vangelic Not Christ, really. When you go to Lester's warehouse and Michael is... Oh, fucking oh, Lester. I love that guy. Together again, Lester says, so fucking sad. Guys, there was an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but he's gone quiet. Although they don't say it directly, this is obviously a reference to Nico. In the Polito Bay score mission, if you select Packy to be one of the that level along with was you, fucking insane. Trevor, Michael, and Frank machine gun in the car about their first bank score and just Packie doing all that shit. Goddamn, it was fucking job. insane. The Bank of Liberty City. It was me, my brother Derek, my pal Michael, and another boy, Nico, who is probably dead. This last one is just weird that it was considered to begin with since we haven't seen a Grand Theft Auto game on a Nintendo console that wasn't a handheld before. Dan Hauser of Rockstar Games was asked what platforms Grand Theft Auto V would come to after the announcement of their PS3 and Xbox 360 support. He only responded simply that everything else is up for consideration. One of the less translation, they don't know, Windows probably. Wii, but it appears that the game was, in fact, prototyped for Wii U. But ultimately, it wasn't developed due to Wii U's performance. Nintendo apparently wasn't in opposition to bringing Grand Theft Auto V to the Wii U if circumstances had allowed. Reggie Fisume, president and COO, Fisume. stated that. Quote, the folks there at Rockstar Games have said very nice public comments about the Wii U. In the end, the Wii U is not that great. Neither, maybe it's just me, but I can't stand the Wii U. It's just really, really annoying. And essentially create environments where teams like Rockstar can bring their very best content to our platform. And if we do that, hopefully the very best content throughout the entire industry will show up on the Wii U. As a final side note, the word Nintendo is actually a banned word in Grand Theft Auto V, which means players can't say the word Nintendo to each other. Really? Nickel, oh nickel. And I want you guys to leave me some That's fucked up. in the comments down below for some games you think I should do one-off Let's Plays for. I just got back from PAX, and I do have a bit of the PAX pox, uh, which means I'm a little bit sick. But I saw that the number one most requested thing was for me to do more Let's Plays for the channel, which I've been planning to do for a while, but I just haven't done it yet because I've been working on the Weird Facts series so much. But leave me some one-off suggestions, because I already have a few series. Uh, Your voice is amazing, one man. One -off I could just listen to that all day. Play, you know, just one episode of. And if you see anything else that anyone Very calming and shit. Suggested, and you like that, give it a thumbs up so all the good stuff floats to the top. You can put anything, um, any of the new horror games or whatever, something that would work for a one-episode gameplay video. 
Also, down below in the description and the comments, I will be leaving any live games up for grabs that you can schedule, talk about. Which I hope you I can think make it to because probably I'm not sure. Very, very I'm just asking anyway. And if you just want to check to see if you can make it, just take a look down there. Maybe you'll be free, and you can come hang out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching uh, GTA Weird Facts, Weird Facts GTA. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a thumbs up and don't forget so to how's this Fallout game anyway? Videos on this channel. I've never played Fallout. I have Fallout. I still haven't played it, which is for some stupid reason I haven't. But I hear it's a good game. Is it? Is it a good game? Should I try it? Your choice. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm gonna try not to be sick anymore, and I will see you next time. Bye. You know, my name is Nicole. Oh, God damn. All right, it just went to the next video for no reason. Or re okay, yeah, it did. But yeah, oh, Nickel, very informative, man. Very informative. I was surprised by the many things that you said. But like, I s but damn, I gotta start playing these games in order rather than from five to before. Cause I don't know why my brain's saying that. I started out as like five, and then I got the other games, and I'm starting my way. Below five, five, four. I should really start from one, two, or three. I got a wiki to shit. Like, what's the proper word to play these games? And yeah, Trevor, Michael, and Franklin. I forgot the guy's name almost. That's a pretty awesome game. And I need to check out these uh, ghosts that you're talking about. Because I haven't been to the, like, the underground thing that you said in, in that... Mm, grassy knoll shit god damn that city is huge like you I still haven't been everywhere and I finished the fucking missions and I still gotta figure out shit <laughs> man have you tried the hunting level it's like fuck I try to hunt these motherfucking things like the elk and these motherfucking bobcats just come out of nowhere and just eat my ass I see them coming but fuck they just pounce on me out of nowhere and like I'm anyways that just pisses me off, but yeah, great video, man. That's really great video. Very informative. But anyways, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak out. Bye.